stock check here. There we go. Get the win. Oof. Maybe not, actually. I missed G6. Wait. Okay, here we go. Round one, we're going to play against Jospam. Get this, get the show on the road. Okay, now again, remember this is Arena Kings and my rating is 32.63. So I'm, no, I, I'm, I'm gaining plus two if I beat Jospam. This is just sick. I gained plus two. This is disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting that I gained plus two if I beat Jospam. This is just disgusting. I know, maybe Jospam didn't didn't get any help from the Fed or something, because I feel like his rating is severely deflated. His, his rating is really deflated. Uh, I'm going to play something stupid. I think I'm... Actually, I can take on D5. I think 94 is also a line. It's not good, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's actually quite comp complex. So, yeah, I'm going to go here. I've, I've actually looked at this... I looked at this line a long time ago. It's very, very complicated. Hey, Trocar for the gifted sub. I think White's supposed to be winning somehow, but I don't remember how. Because here I just take and I have Bishop B7 and E5 and Knight C6. Yeah, I mean, plus two is just absurd. Wait, this one looks wrong. Wait, this looks very... Can't I just go... Wait, no, no, I gotta go here first. Am I just missing something? Isn't this queen just getting trapped or am I just really stupid? I might just be really stupid, but I don't understand why his queen isn't just getting trapped. No, I think Jocelyn just blundered. I think he's just losing. I don't know what Jocelyn's doing. No, I think their approach is fine. I think the problem is that they don't they don't they don't get to play against the same competition. The competition is not as strong. That's the problem. So like so then when they then they, when they play against the absolute best male players, um they they struggle. That's a simple reason. They they just don't have the opportunities and there are far less of them. And so they play in the tournaments against other women and their look and the quality of the play it's not as high. So that's why that's why they struggle. Um no, I mean it would be great. It would be great. Like Hu Yifan and Judith Plogar were were amazing players, but they uh but again, like even even for them, they're like the huge exceptions to the rule, and it would be it would be not it would be nice if there were um, more more opportunities. Okay, let's go here. A hey, troll card for six hundred bits. It, it would be seriously. It's a shame. It's a big shame. I think it has to do with the fact that women are frankly smarter than men. End of the day, I'm gonna say something hot. Women are smarter than men. They're not insane lunatics. They're not as like competitive. There's not like it's not a dog eat dog world. And because of that, they're they're generally they're less of them that stick with chess because chess is extremely competitive. You have to be somewhat insane and really like crazy about the game. Uh uh, don't die website. Oh come wait, what's oh no, what's going on? The clock stopped. Wait, what just happened there? The clock stopped. Oh God, no, 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 come on, no, no. Um, I'm not la- No, I mean, I'm here at- I'm not dropping frames, no, I'm not dropping frames. Ah, uh, shisa. Oh no, thank you, J. Joe's. No, no, I'm- mean, I just lost 45 seconds, what the heck. And he's not losing any time on his moves either. What the heck's going on? Wait. Wait, how's he not losing any time on his moves? I mean, that's ridiculous. Hit both pawns. I'm going to be really fast here. Back the rook. Go here, trade some rooks. I gotta be really fast here in this game. Gotta take. He can't take of this. Shoot, I don't have a way to win here.
I should take in the pond too. I'm gonna run this A pawn. I got a pawn here. F6, I guess. This is very hard to play. I should win the game, though. Here, I have check, check, maybe? Check here. There we go, get the win. Ooh. Maybe not, actually, I missed G6. Wait. Of King H7. I, I, almost, I almost just blundered. I, I win, though, anyway. I think you saw me. I was about to spill coffee. I was like, wait a second, there's G6. I was about to spill coffee. Um, just go here. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was about to spill my coffee because I didn't see that he'd H5 G6. Yeah. Chuck. Chuck and take the rook and the game. Okay, let's go again. Get the win. Tough game, but we get the win. Okay, we're gonna play min lay actually. Every game starting off. I'm gonna play the C3 Sicilian. I want. I actually want to take this time to play something a little bit unusual. I want to see what his approach is. Let's go here. Oh, I think I just made some kind of slight mistake. Wait, I do have Queen B3 though, don't I? To check him. Now, if I castle, I have check or Queen A4. Go here on Queen A4, I guess. Go back and now. Now I think I just develop. Hmm. B seven is not actually. I have a three. Wait a second. I, I don't. I don't want to use too much time here. Let's go here and queen g four. I guess. Maybe queen f four is better. I'm gonna go. Let's trade and go here. A three next move. I have bishop g five also. His knights are misplaced a little bit. If I get a three and rook b one, I should be better here. Oh, he's got rook d8. I also forgot he had this too. Let's go here. Okay, I guess I take. Hmm. Pretty dry. He offers a draw. I don't really want to take a draw here. Let's go here. Oh, he just goes back. It's a tough spot because I can obviously offer a draw, but I, I think I should play on just my instinct. He goes king d8. That looks like a mistake. I think I have here a knight c5. He's slightly misplaying this position. Not not bigly misplaying it, but just slightly misplaying it. I'll pre-move it because it's a check. 
No, I mean, I could have given him a draw because the thing is, like, it's, it's top 16. If I don't like my position, objectively, it's best for both of us to make the draw because then we move on. Like, the only thing that matters is top 16, but I do have a rating to worry about. So I'm kind of thinking about my rating at the same time. But yeah, if a game's a draw quickly, you make the draw and then you move on so that both players get some points and you don't waste, like, five minutes that you don't have to. Um, you'll qualify anyway. I don't think that's a guarantee. Um, that looks like a bad move. Wait. I'm going to go B4. I actually, I'm starting to really not like his, the way Minlay has played this. It actually looks kind of really sketchy. Like, really sketchy. Maybe I've got Rook C1 and A4. You can also check. I also, uh, check looks good. A4 is also a move. I mean, I should be better here, but it's a matter of technique. I'm definitely better. I just don't know if I can win this. Hmm hard to prove um you want f6 yeah i don't ha i don't have anything here i'm just gonna probably make a draw in a second i mean i can obviously take with a pawn here i guess it does that trade trade go here, tie the knight down. He's actually in, actually this is starting to feel a little bit like a Magnus game. A5, B5, and I'm starting to squeeze him just a little bit on the queen side. A little bit like a Magnus game here. Although B6, I have 96, so it should be fine. Oh, he moved. Wait, I gotta go. Whoops. Okay, I can play A4. I think B6 is correct, though. Okay. Take, and now... Yeah, now now he's in really bad. Oh, I had a no a four was wrong. I think I'm I might be winning here. This is yeah, this is very Magnus esque, shall we say? Got a four knight. I mean, I think I'm I think I'm actually winning here. Now I can play a four here. Looks correct, and I just take. Oh, he's got ah, uh, he's got knight c three. I forgot he had that. Go here and here and here, I guess. He has to take, and I go here and here. And I go here. He's going to lose all his pawns. He loses the base. And when he loses the base, now I come around and get, get this one, too. So, uh, now HD is G5. Logical. Let's just go here. I mean, I guess Knight D7, Knight H8, Knight F8. But, I mean, this is not fun to play. And I go here, and I bring the king in. It's just GG's. I'm kind of surprised he's playing on and not just resigning here. Go here. Go here. Takes an e6, e7. GG's. Go here. I can just play h4, h5. Now e6 and e7. Knight's dead. We win the game. Let's keep going. I mean, I, I could have taken the draw, I guess, but it doesn't matter. Let's go here, e5. I'm going to play knight e6 and f5, maybe. Castle. Go here, attack the pawn. I always have a four later. Okay, it goes knight c1. I'm just going to play a6. Uh, I shouldn't have given him this because he can take. He doesn't take advantage of it. If I get h6, I'm probably okay here. I don't love my position, but I think it's playable at least. I'm going to go h6. Just keep it very simple here. I'll probably go knight d5 at some point. Okay, goes g4. Um, let's go here and trade a knight e5 or something. Go over something complicated. Open it up a little bit. I mean, B5 is the move I want to play. I also have 95. Uh, this actually is a little bit sketchy. Takes with the E pawn. Kind of surprising. Actually, maybe not. Okay. Uh, it's a little bit... Uh, I don't really like this. Let's go here in 95. I'm going to sack a pawn. Try to play for counterplay in the center of the board. Open up the scope. 
Also, F3 is weak. C4 is weak. If F4, I just trade and take. If I take, I, I block this part of the board. He okay, still wants queen e4. I'm going to go here, stop queen e4, and then, like, I don't know, queen f6, or maybe just rook c8. I have to be a little bit careful how I play. So I'll go here and hit the pawn. I have queen g7 to block the uh, block the check. Can't I just take, or am I insane? I just block. And now I should be winning again. He checks. I go here. He's also got problems with b2 now as well because of the long diag my long diagonal. See what he does. I think I'm already much better. Um, so here, attack the bishop. I can play rook d4 here. I think rook b4 and maybe a5, a4 is very scary for white. C1. Actually, rook c1 is a good move. I missed that. I'm going to go a5, a4 probably. Or rook back and take. A lot of problems for white in this position. Deep in the tank. Let's see what he does. This is 3-0, by the way, you guys. This is 3-0. There's, there's, um, there's no increment on these games. Go here, attack the pawn. A5, A4 is still very much in play. This bishop, by the way, is very bad on B3. It does nothing. It's on a bad square. It guards the pawn, but my bishop wooden shield is very strong. Okay, that doesn't really concern me. I just take and go rook here. I mean, he has rook C7, but I have rook F1. He goes there. I mean, I can obviously just go... Just take and go here. Collect the pawn. Bishop e2. Oh, I gave him bishop h5, maybe. Eh, that was a mistake. Yeah, I gave him bishop h5. I can still come here and block, though, I guess. Go here and here. It's actually a little bit tricky now. I'm not so sure how winning I am. Go here. I'm going to go g4. That was a mistake by me. Let's take, go h5. I, mean, I have rook f1 at some point too. Just there. Of course, I should just check. So check and then bishop f6, I guess. Actually, let's go here instead of a4. Let's go here. I'm still hitting b2. Everything's on dark, by the way, so we can't win anything here. It's a classic right triangle as well, of course. I guess we'll go. Go here, keep an eye on the pawn on b2. Um, let's take. Still so close to being lost, but I don't see a forced win, so I think I'm just gonna play h5. I should have checked first and taken the pawn. What am I doing? Wait, do I have checkmate here? No, but I do have check in b5. I mean, I have B3 here. Now, let's just go B3. Okay, it goes here. Go here. I mean, I'm going to get a... Oh, wait, that's a mistake. So I can check and take. He missed this. There we go. And now I win the game. He missed rook a5, and now I just take. A7, I mean... I can make a queen for... This must be winning. I just have check. A check. Oh, that was a bad mistake by me. Let's go here on bishop b8. I'm still winning, but this was kind of poorly played. Go here. Okay, we got the double. Let's keep going. We got Bernie Addies for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna play Minlay again. Go here, probably e5. I'm gonna play something stable here, nothing too crazy. Knight b6 is a move. I'm gonna do something unusual. I think I'm just gonna keep it very stable here. Knight of 8 is probably wrong, actually. Let's just go here, maybe bishop c6. Uh, 
I had 98 H7, which is also kind of interesting. You need a Dewey, Dewey Pro for the four months. Thank you so much to Dewey Pro. Let's take. I can just go. Uh, Bishop C6 is a move. B5 is kind of weird. I'm going to play it. I don't know why I'm going to play it, but I'm going to play it. Yeah, I don't know why I played it. Uh, but actually, I can go here and hit the knight. I think he missed Bishop G4. Yeah, now I can play. I can also go 96 knight f4, but I'm just going to be solid with c6 here. Keep it stable. Go here. If takes, I just take, take. Queen c7 should be fine. Thank you to Shockadins for the 11. Thank you to Might Reach for the Prime. Thank you so much to Might Reach. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. I thought you are playing Big Swiss. No, uh, we've spoken about that many, many times already. It was queen c2. I think a5 is fine here. g5 is a move. Knight d7 just looks very simple here. Maybe knight c5 next. We just keep this really, really slow. Really, really slow and really, really happy. Happy times. Plays h3. I, I think I'm going to go a5, a4 here. I could have maybe traded as well. He's going to have to take. Sooner or later, he has to take on e6. If he goes a4, I trade, and then I hit him with knight c5. Am I rich? Are we 17 points yet? No, we're at 13. Another win and we'll get there. Is it 17 by there? I guess I'll just go A4 and take. He's got to take. I take. I don't really like this position for white. C4, B4 looks unpleasant. C5. Yeah, C5. I can also take A2 and go A3, B3. I don't really like what Minlay is doing here. B3, I'll take. And I'll go here and Bishop C5. This looks very sketchy. There's also rook a3. This, this looks very sketchy for Minlay. Also, e4 is super weak, too, because his knight's in the win. It has no jumps. Pawns guard the squares. Looks very, very, very dangerous. I have knight c5. Okay, I can play h5, but I'm actually not worried. Uh, he wants knight c4 and rook d7. He has an actual trick, so I'm going to go here and double stack. That's my idea, at least. Just double stack. Okay, I just take. Go h5. Doesn't have a take. Okay, he goes there. I'm going to go here and rook a2. This looks very bad for white. Knight f3. I go f6. Consolidate. Knight h4. King h7. And bishop c5. Looks really, really bad. Go here and rook a3, I guess. I'm going knight a4 here and knight c3. I think I'm just going to... Eh, no. King h7 is bad. What about rook d8 and just rook d3? Actually, this just looks very clean. Rook d3. And he's... Again, Minlay is in a lot of trouble here in this game. A lot of trouble here. Beat Chess Championship is November 12th. Sketchy means a little bit, eh, a little bit iffy. Looks like it feels wrong. Doesn't look quite right. Okay, but I can also take B... Wait, which one do I take? B3 or D1? I think I just take this one and take this one. He wants Rook D8. Um, that doesn't really concern me. I think I just go here and B3, B2 anyway. I take queen d2. Just take. I have check and queen b queen f1. Oh my god! I just blunder queen h6 or something. I blundered some. I blundered rook. F oh, I've got king g7. Rook g8. King takes check. King f7. I think it works. I'm th I think I'm winning here. So I can also go king g7, maybe. Maybe. I'm not so sure about this, actually. here and I go here I've got 97 he's got no time either wait a second 94 Queen c8 King 7 check I'm gonna go over this I don't see the win where's the win I go here Here, and my king gets out. Checkmate. Let's go again. Yeah, 
Yeah, we got the win. Good game. Let's go E4 here. So far, a pretty smooth event. Very, very smooth so far. Let's go here and here. Let's play the big chain. The big chain center here. He's going to go A4, A3. I don't know if A3 is right, but I'm going to play it anyway. Who's there? Let's just go here, a castle. Actually, Bishop E3 was an awful move. Why did I do that? That was actually really bad by me. Let's go back and rook B1, I guess. It was really, really poor play by me at the moment. I'm going to have to go G4, F5, I think, like, ASAP. I'm not sure when. Okay, let's just go... G4, H5, F5, takes, takes. Okay, let's just go for it. I'm going to go F5. Takes, takes. I should have done this much earlier, of course. Yeah, I also, I think I just take trade. Let's go here. Step out of any weird stuff here. A knight g3 maybe. Not a good position, but it's playable. What's the point of naming your channel points juicer as well? I'm a big fan of uh, Felix Longgel. Uh, you might have heard of him. He's a pretty prominent streamer here on the platform. Um, so he goes by the username of XQC. Um, so you might have heard of him before, and a uh, big fan of his. Been a long-time fan, obviously. He helped start the, this whole chess boom on Twitch, and um, so why not pay homage to him? Uh, let's go here and hit both pawns. I don't know if knight c3 or f4 is better. Yeah. Come to Canada, dude. Yeah. Dude, uh, I can't do it. Dude, he said one thing when he was younger. Like, I mean, come on. He said one thing that he shouldn't have said when he was younger, and off that, you're going you're gonna to just label him as a terrible person for life? I mean, come on. Let's be serious here. Dango Rook C4, was that like cancel culture or something? I mean, come on. Just because he says something in the heat of the moment, he gets really angry, you want to cancel him? Especially considering that English is not his first language. I mean, like... Knight D3, I have Rook D1. I mean, everything should be winning here for me, but I, I need to be a little bit careful. Does Kasparov ever play in Title Tuesday? Um, no, unfortunately, Gary doesn't play in Title Tuesday. I think he's, he, he doesn't want to throw his hat in the ring. Okay, let's go Rook D1, attack the Knight. He's got to go to F4. I'm just going to start pushing my pawns up the board here. He's going to go Knight F4. I go D5, D6. And I think I'm doing very, very well here. Knight C5. Wow, what a move. Okay, let's go here to attack F7. Not sure how he's going to guard this, because his rook looks really good on d8, but, like, I'm about to cover all these squares here with my knights. And he can't guard this pawn, so his pin is, um... Take. Not d5. I think I'm just going to take this one. And go d5, attack the knight. Let's just go here. Attack the pawn at a4 and go for rook a8, checkmate. Pretty clean. Looks very clean. Let's just take... Oh, knight d7 was mate in 2, but this is also mate in, mate in 3. Go g6, bishop g7, next move. Go here. <clears throat> oh, he's playing this order, which is a little bit different. I have to go e6. I didn't. Let's just go here. Okay, I'll play e5. I mean, he, he wasted a move bishop c4, d3. So we have like. Let's take and. Actually, this might not be best. I'm going to go work d8. Bishop a3, queen e8, of course. I'm trying to push my rating ever higher, but it's getting increasingly difficult. Um, I'm going to go a6. I don't even know if a6. Maybe just b5. Probably this isn't right, but I'm going to try it anyway. His bishop on a3 is also misplaced. Okay, go c4, I go c6. Pretty standard. Knight h5, knight f4 is kind of interesting. I don't really believe in it, so... Hmm. All right, Bishop belongs on e on this diagonal for sure. Not on this diagonal, because if it goes here to B7, it's behind a pawn wall. This must be right. <coughs> okay, let's go Bishop F8, trade some Bishop. Oh, he's got Bishop B2. Why did I do that? That was so stupid. Very stupid of me. And I actually four, but I just go back. 
They need a cubic for the three months. Here's so much cubic. Um, and Kagan play knight f6. Wait a second. There's something here. What is the move? There's something. I feel. I feel it in my bones. There's something here. Wait a second. Five ninety three is not right. Takes knight b six. D eight ninety five. There's something here. Why can't I see it? Um, let's take and go here. There's something. I'm just not sure what it is. Bishop B3. I think I'm going to play A5. Or Queen D7. Queen D7, Queen D2 is actually maybe quite strong here. He goes 93 back. Interesting. He doesn't actually do what I thought he would do. So I guess let's just go here in c 5 Very flat position. <sighs> Hard to do anything. Maybe if I get f6, bishop f8, knight c5, I'm better. This is very similar to the game I just had against Min I gave him rook d6, which I shouldn't have given him either. But I have knight c5. Just want to consolidate the chain here, kind of. I go here. Take and go here. I can go queen d7. I mean, this must be good for me, surely. With queen d2 and queen e1. Takes, like, I guess I can take with the bishop and go. Ah, I can rotate the knight to d4, maybe. Let's go here, knight d4. Guess I'll go here. Prevent c5. I mean, this looks very bad for white, objectively. Let's go here, bring the king in. With f3. Okay, I'm going to bring my king in. I'm definitely the driver's seat here. Or actually, I allowed 91, which I shouldn't have allowed. Hmm. That was a mistake by me. Okay. Should not have allowed 91. I guess I'll go here. I'm going to go back and maybe trade. I'm up on the clock here, at least. Go back. Nah, I misplayed this. Um, I've got no time either. This is just gonna be a draw. Go here. Just a draw. Nothing I can do here. Takes, takes, here, here, takes, here, here, takes, A5. I'm going to go for it. Oh, he, oh, he's got this one. Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, it's just a draw then, okay. I almost just threw this. Oh, my God, I hung... I go here and it's a draw. Jeez. I almost threw that. It's just a draw. Yikes. I almost threw that. I almost threw that. Yeah, I, I hung. I should not have traded. I forgot he had King C5. I have dirty flag knowing it's a draw. No, I was actually in danger of losing. He, if he was four seconds, maybe I could have. But he had too much time. Uh, dirty flag was never in play there. I should not have traded Bishop. So that was a very dangerous decision by me. Let's go here and C5. Very, very dangerous decision. Let's go e5. Do something different. It's a little bit lucky not to lose that. Also, I didn't need to do this. My knight was not hanging. Go f5. 
Yeah, I don't know why I did this either. I just made a blunder. Gotta slow it down a little bit. Draw is not actually a terrible... Actually, draw is terrible because I lost like eight points for that draw. I think a J-Shark for 13, which is just... Losing 13 for... Or losing eight for a draw is just very, very harsh. Okay, he goes Bishop G5. But I can go here in Queen G6. I think this is... I think Bishop G5 is a start of going the wrong direction by my opponent. Queen G6 and Bishop E6. And I should be fine here. Let's go here. Force Queens off. Oh, that's just a mistake. Go here. Uh, check. Thank you very much. Quick win. Okay, we got the dub. Let's move on. So far, so good. Losing 13. A draw is minus 8. A loss is 13, etc., etc. So, yeah, we just keep rolling. Okay, let's go e4 here. A four. Watch the speed of your forks. Yeah. Let's go here. 94 maybe. Faruja's winning? What do you mean? Faruja's actually winning his endgame? No, Faruja is better, but I don't think he's winning. Let's just take. No, if Faruja's winning, that's pretty impressive, actually. Oh, there was a blunder in the endgame by... There was, there was a blunder by um, by Nair. Well, I'll, I'll pull it up in a second. I'm going to laugh at this exact endgame that I had against... Um, that, that I had against the computer like an hour ago. There was a, Nair made a huge blunder. Okay, I'll... I'll take a look when I have a chance. Um, pull it up on my other monitor. Just so I'll call that in a second. Go rook d1. Wait, what? Wait, what the heck? Wait, how did he do that? This is exactly what I had. Um, This is exactly what I had against the computer. Why didn't he go? Okay. Wait, what? He made a queen on F1? Isn't that just Okay, wait, uh, wait a second. I can I'm sorry. I got I got to get I got to get back to, to to playing the game. Sorry. What what the heck was eight What the heck was white black making a queen there? Or, or let's go F3. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm just like what was that? Bizarre. King H6 was just a draw. Queen King H5 or F1 King H4 takes King H3. That's just a draw. What the heck was that? What was F1 Queen? They could caddy Wumpus for 33 months. What? No, that was just a draw. What was that? Okay, anyway. That was a horrible draw. Second camp for AK for the knockout portion you do. Yeah, for the second portion you do. What was F1? Okay, F6. Okay, let's let's focus. Um, I can play E6 here. I think I'm just going to go... That's very surprising. Oh, let's just go King H2. Yeah, that's very surprising. I don't know how you make a queen there. A one. Yeah, rook A1. I'm just trying. I'm, I'm actually thinking about the that as I play, as I think you guys can probably tell. Let's just go here and chip the center. Very strange. Very strange by Nair. Very strange. Why do you make a queen and auto king h6? I'm actually very perplexed. I'm just thinking about it now. He had auto queen on maybe. I mean, I don't know what that was. Let's go f5. Very, very strange. He just gave a pawn. Yeah, there's no need. He could have just um, he could have just played king h6, h5, h4. Oh, could you could he also have gone rook b2? No, rook b2, there's rook b7. Wait, but no, that's that's a draw too. Check, king b7, king a7, queen a3, king b7, queen f3. Yeah, king a7, queen a oh, also rook b2 is a draw too. Rook b2 is also a yeah, it also was a draw. Um just take and take. 
Yeah, I'll also rook b2 is a draw as well. Check king e7, queen e3, king b7, queen f3, a7, check b8, f8. Yeah, it's, it's the right triangle. It's the right triangle draw. What was that? What was that by Nair? What? Okay, I go check and I win the game. Yeah, rook b2 is a rook b2 is an easy draw also rook f1 is insane king h6 and and rook b2 both draw easy draw i'll show you guys afterwards he touched the pawn i mean maybe but like yeah i mean f1 is insane there were two drawing moves there and he found the only one that lost that's insane there were two there were two two draws oh well i'm playing in 1994 well wow, this is going to be a, a very 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 slow arena open up the position I mean go here and take they can make a check uh, the funny thing is I'm not actually much better here that's what's funny about this position I'm only very slightly better not cleanly winning or anything we'll take I've... oh why did I take that that was really stupid uh, I think Magnus was younger than Ollie Reza when he made candidates uh or maybe it's the same I don't know it's very very close take and take but what the heck was f1 What the heck was F1? Check and take. I mean, what the heck was F1? Tango 96. I'm just really confused. I'm just thinking about it. Because there were so many moves that drew, and I, I mean, let me see, what was the time? That's just a crazy blunder. Let's go here. Go here. I mean, he had seven minutes plus. How did he do that? I mean, it must be winning, surely. So, somehow it's winning. I don't know how it's winning, but it must be winning for uh, for Ali Reza. Okay, let's just castle here. Go. Uh, let's go here and take. I guess. I get a puck handler for the three months. No, I mean Ali Reza is going to win the game now. I'm quite confident of that. Go here, take some bishop b5. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty... Yeah, any king move was a draw. Rook b2 was the more fancy draw. Like, everything was drawing. So I'm just very confused by that. Okay, what do I want to go? I can also just go... Uh, let's go here and take, I guess. I feel like I'm being a little bit too loose, loosey-goosey, but we'll see. Yeah, F1 was a crazy move. I mean, I just don't know how you do that. He had 19 minutes, and he thought for 13 minutes before making a queen? Seriously? He thought for 13 minutes and made a queen? Okay, I'm, I mean, I, I'm just very perplexed. Let's go back. I have bishop d4. I mean, I also have bishop g5. A oh, queen h4 is maybe better. I'm thinking too long here also. What am I doing? I guess I'm just going to take this pawn. Play like a Bobby Fischer. Let's go back. I'm just very perplexed. I, I mean, honestly, I'm just, I'm kind of, kind of floored by that. Also don't have a good position this game. Go here, try to use the queenside pawns. Yeah, I'm just thinking to house for seven. I'm really 
perplexed by that decision with with plenty of time i just don't know how you do that and that's why i'm confused go here 96. i mean ollie reza has great chances to qualify again there's still a long way to go so anything can happen but i mean he's obviously the odds on favorite right now because he's leading the tournament doesn't mean it's guaranteed or anything but he he is the odds on favorite I must be winning somehow queen e5 or e6 I think queen f4 is actually a very bad move by me go here chop the structure a little bit weaken his king side Oh, if he wins, he gets an easier pairing. That's true. He plays Sasakiran, right? That's a good point. Okay, we're going to win the game. Okay, we got the dub. We keep going. We're up to 35 points. Pretty good so far definitely we're, we're already in the top actually none of the title players are really lighting it up it looks like it looks like it's a tough 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 field for everybody uh joe bob is trying to play an arena kings i don't know why he's trying to play an arena kings um did he how did joe Baba do today you guys knight g5 is always a move i'm gonna do it even though it's not the right move Yeah, I don't know why. Jo oh, Jobaba lost in the opening today after winning in the opening yesterday. Okay, that's probably... Yeah, then I understand it. Of course, I don't know why I did this either. Go here. Jobaba is an exotic princess, yes. I can always just castle, too. Of course, I've also misplayed this opening, unfortunately. Let's go back. Uh, I gave him C5 again. Another mistake. Very careless by me. I wonder if I can sack a pawn somehow. I think I'm going to sack a pawn with either B4, C5. Let's go here. This probably is not right, but I'm going to try something like C5 or something. here this b5 i go c5 or i can even just take okay, i can take the pawn trade Go queen b3 here maybe 95 still looks pretty good for me it's not clear cut but let's go here target the pawn actually this is very dangerous now i'm getting knight c6 here when he pushes it's actually very dangerous rook b8 i might be able to sack on f7 i can even just move the knight to like g4 or d3 and then take he goes rook b8 so it should be very very good for me Jobava's internet, by the way, is not great in Riga, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, Jobava's uh, internet is not holding up, it doesn't look like, so far. It says offline. Yeah, Jobava's offline, it looks like. Good news is this looks like it's going to be a very, very, uh, very, very smooth qualification process. Nothing too, too scary today. So that's the good stuff. He's using Cricket Wireless. I doubt that. 50 seconds to go he, he just gets I mean he's just disconnected not much you can really do about that yeah I mean nobody is actually doing very well of the title players they're all kind of somewhere out of it one hour in they'll probably all make it through you assume at some point but they're not they're not a great start go here and trade
I'm definitely going to play D4 next move if I can. We'll see what he does. Alirez is not losing off. Alirez is losing. I would pay you. Uh, I would pay you a million bucks. I think there's no way he's losing. I'd probably pay you a million bucks if he if he lost this game. Let's go F4. Yeah, I, I'd pay you a million dollars. It takes. I'll take and go here. I guess. Probably work at five, maybe C3. Okay, I'm gonna go here and maybe C3 next move. And now I chip the structure because I have D4. Go here. Go here. Actually, I don't really like what I've done. I'm gonna start attacking. I'm gonna fling the poo up the board on the queen side here, basically. Oh, did I just hang a pawn? Whoops. I did hang a pawn. Okay, let's go A4. Didn't mean to hang that, but I did. This looks very questionable by my opponent. I feel like I have something here. I don't know what I have, but I'm gonna go here to hit the pawn. Bishop G1 was a bad move too. Okay, he's really trying to mess, really trying hard to get himself into trouble. I'm gonna go here in Knight C1, I think. Timing is pretty, pretty close here. Very weird position. So let's just go. Uh, let's go here. I want to see if he play. He does play a5. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch back this way. Now I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna start switching back and go g5 and work a five at the right moment. I'm gonna go g5 and work a five here. He has knight d3, but I take and go rook b1. I mean, this looks very this looks problematic, shall we say? I go rook a five, rook g5. This king is very iffy on this diagonal as well. This looks very hard to play for black. What's the biggest the biggest difference in your life since you start start earning fifty million per year? Uh, if I was earning fifty million a year, I would donate. I would probably donate. Uh, I would donate what taxes or what thirty nine point five percent. Although actually, I guess theoretically you can donate, and that's a tax write off. So I probably would just. I probably would like donate all my subs and everything if I was making fifty million a year. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. Uh, donate to mods. I actually donated to my mods. I, I gave uh, all my mods a $500 Amazon gift card, uh, gift certificate. So I, I actually I, I, I gave my mods some gift certificates. That was my Christmas gift to them. So let's see. So I can take. I can also just go here, target the knight even further. A lot of pressure here. It is true. Yeah. No. I'm not. It's, that's not. A, that's not a troll. It's. It's true. Yeah. They do a great job keeping the keeping the community going. So um. So yeah, I did. No, I did. I get the mods once per year. Well, I mean, it's it's kind of weird because last year, obviously, I was, I mean, uh, last year was, I mean, was building the infrastructure for streaming because last year was when it was a, um, last year was when it was like everything took off and blew up. So, um, it goes B6. I think I can just check and, oh, he's got, um, oh, wait, what's this? That's just a blunder. Take and he gets mated. Signs keep going. All the mods, even Shade Doc, yes. Uh, even Shade Doc, yes. I don't know if that's intended to be rude or something, but yeah, Shade Doc, yes. Let's go here, Bishop G7, keep it rolling. I, just, I might be in a spot again where I just sit for the last 30 minutes of this arena, possibly. There's a good chance I will. I'm 3270, I'm 30 points away. H4, okay, let's go H6. Your mods are the best I've ever experienced. Thank you so much. Ali Reza won the end game, right? I don't know what F1 was. Yeah, F1 was just a very I mean, I don't even know how you play that after a 30 minute thing. And we've got almost the great wall of something here. Go D5, close the bishop down. Important. And okay, let's go B5. Maybe I should have played knight d7 first, I don't know. But yeah, very, very strange. Very, very strange. I, I I don't I don't really know what to make of it, honestly. I'm just I'm very perplexed by Nair. I mean maybe it's just the pressure of, of having to defend for so long. But he never should have played F1. I just I don't know how you play F1 there. Oh, meanwhile, I'm I'm in some trouble in this game. I kinda need to focus. I think this works. I might just lose the game here, but I think it's okay. Oh, he just takes. No, now I'm fine. Go King G8 or do I go King H7? I think I go King H7. 
takes, I just take, and I have f6. This bishop also is very out of play here. I have to be careful he doesn't, like, reroute it. Yeah, he's trying to reroute it, but now I should be in time here. I'm gonna go b4. He's gonna move the knight somewhere. I'll go here. He's gonna go c3. I'm gonna go, like, king g8. I don't know about c4, because now his king's under a lot of pressure. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go e5 here. I don't like c4, because now after takes, I have queen a5. There are all kinds of problems with the white king here. I have knight takes, I trade and take. It looks very problematic. It was queen d2. I mean, I can obviously take. I can also go e4 and just close this diagonal down. I think e4 is the right move. I just take and go here. Yeah, it goes h6, knight g6. I got rook g8. I mean, he's just got nothing here. It goes knight f4. That's a good move. Um, I have to be quite careful here, actually. Actually, I do have f6, maybe. So f6. He doesn't have checks. I take. And queen g4. I have rook, rook e8, maybe, or f5 back. I have to be very careful here. Let's see what he does. Why does chess always look so easy when you play? Well, it's part of the appeal um, of watching my stream. I mean, it's, I've said it before. One of the best things, best things for me was watching. Um... Wait, does he have queen g6? No, he doesn't do that. Okay. I have to be very careful. I think I'm going to go here. And bishop c8 is a big threat now. Uh, that's one of the appeals of watching my stream, you guys, is that uh, when you watch my stream, somehow chess looks really easy. And then when you play it, it's like, wait, but what happened? Why isn't it so easy? Oh, I hung f6. Idiotic of me. I'm actually in a lot of trouble here. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to salvage this. This is gonna be very tricky. Shoot, this is actually very bad. I have knight b3 check. He's way down on the clock, which is very important here. But it goes rook f1. I don't think that's correct. Wait, I can just check and take. I have king g8. And I have e3 or bishop d5. Be very careful how I play this. It's still very tricky. Okay, that's just a mistake. So I have knight g6, but he's got h8. I guess I have to go here and here. Pawn is very fast in e3. I mean, obviously, I take this because I want bishop f3. Um, go here, knight f4, maybe. Okay, now, now he's now he's gonna lose the game. Go here, knight c2. And if takes, I, if not takes, I go e1. So. You know, Trokar, for the good stuff. Who did I watch when I was young? I mean, I kind of watched Gary Kasparov's game. I looked at his games. Obviously, I didn't stream or anything, but those were the games that I watched. But yeah, I, I would say it's very true. It's just like, it's no different than I watched like Tifu or Fortnite stream or Tifu, Benji, Fishy, whomever it might be. I, I turn it on, I'm like, or Cypher, for example. I turn it on, I'm like, oh yeah, these guys are really good. They're building, man. This looks really fun. I'm going to go boot up. I'm really inspired. I try to do it. And of course, I'm just like, what the heck? Like, it's just like, I'm garbage. So it's, it's just one of those things where it's like, I totally get it. I totally get it because I'm like, I'm really pumped to play Fortnite. I watch these guys like, man, they're really good. I'm really pumped. I should be able to do that. And I try and I'm just like, what's wrong with me? I can't do it. So it's, um, uh, it's, it's like, it's, it's like, it's, it's good. Once you see that, then you understand. I mean, you really understand just, just what it's like. You get a Tiger King for the four months. Thank you so much, Tiger King. By the way, isn't there a new season of Tiger King, um, on uh, Netflix? Isn't there a season two? Or am I crazy? I think I'm just going to go here. We got a prab swimming for the 12 months. Thank you so much. 
Go here. I've got knight c4. I've got g5, queen f5. Tiger King 2 is on November 15th or 17th. Ah, okay. Let's go g5, maybe g4. He's going to go knight d2, I guess. Or queen e4, and I can trade and go e5. Yeah, Nair made a huge blunder in that game. Very, very perplexing. I don't understand it. I, I and with 19 minutes on the clock, I, I mean, I don't understand. That's also it's very frustrating because I know, like, if I was in that situation playing, I would not have played f1. So it's very frustrating to see from afar as well. Let's go knight d6. I should have traded queens probably, but whatever. Queen f5, I guess. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna move the king. Maybe go queen f5 or a5, maybe a5. And actually, I should go to a5 so I have knight f5 to hit the pawn. Let's go here. Two mate cheaters in this turn, chess.com does nothing about it. I don't know what you're referring to, but anyway, um, sorry. Was not, I mean, the reason I'm shocked by it is because he thought for so long. If he had like five minutes, I could see it, but with 19 minutes and 19 minutes there, I just, I, 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 I'm kind of lost. I'm at a loss for words. Let me put it that way. Go here, maybe a five, maybe G4. I like my position, maybe B5 even. Let's go here, trade some pawns. How do I win this? Okay, let's go here, maybe queen f5. Let's go e4 and f5. Try to try to play more, more in the center, create space. But f4. Ali Reza would beat me in classical. Thank you for that combination. Thank you for that comment. Appreciate it. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Go rookie eight. Just because just you win one tournament doesn't mean you're just you just suddenly win every game. People get high on that hype pretty frequently. Um but that being said, Ali Rez is obviously a very strong chess player. Yeah. He's playing 95% top engine moves. Yeah, but again, like I said, you can you can say that, but there is a difference between 20 playing 26s and 2700s. I will say that. Uh, it's just like, for example, you'll see everybody, everybody plays really high quality. And then you'll notice when people play Magnus, somehow their quality just dips. And that's not by accident. So when people start saying this, like you have to understand, um, it, 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 it varies quite a bit. Everybody, everybody, everybody has a really high score until they play, play Magnus. Um, that's what I would add. So when people start with this, like you have, you have to um, keep that in mind. I think I just collect the Rook and I'm winning. Oh no, oh no, why did I do that? Queen B5, geez. That was terrible by me. Yeah. No, I mean, I will say that when you look at everybody who plays when they play, everybody has a much higher percentage when they play against anybody not named Magnus. Um, that That is actually true. That is true. Um, and that even Ali Reza, you look at his games against Magnus, his games against Magnus, He's gotten crushed pretty soundly, so you have to keep that in mind when people start start going off on these these uh, the, these long long riffs and rants. That everybody everybody's quality dips. Maybe Artemiev Artemiev and Nepo might be the two guys who have not had big dips against Magnus relative to everybody else. But um, but everyone else their quality dips. So when people start thinking like I mean suddenly Ali Rez is like gonna beat Magnus slow down. He's playing great chess. Make no mistake about that. But again, there's a long way to go. Uh, let's just castle, play knight f6, maybe c5, maybe queen c7. Uh, Duda, I, I, Duda got, didn't Duda lose really badly to Magnus last time they played? I thought Duda lost really badly when they played in the Meltwater final, but maybe I'm wrong on that. Uh, let's go here and rook c8, maybe it should be e7 next move. Why did Castle of the Rook have the open line? Uh, oh, oh, sorry, you're talking about the you're talking about the uh, the, the FIDE World Cup. I was I was thinking of Meltwater, but you're right. In the World Cup, he did beat Magnus. That is true. I actually don't like my position in this game. What am I doing? Okay, let's just go here, I guess, and trade. Not really playing this very well. A little bit too chill right now. Probably way too chill. Cause I know I'm gonna qualify already. Go here, but a draw would be very poor. Go here. And take I can also go rook c8 and I have six next move go here h4 okay I mean obviously I go knight f6 probably gonna go b5 or c5 here, I'm gonna go b5 just try to open up the center of the board okay that's fine but I'm gonna go bishop a3 obviously trade and go c5 if I want 
I think I'm gonna go here though. Ah, eh, this is a bad move. Go here. I might go E5. Oh wow, he trades. Wow, that's a little bit cra crazy. Or is it crazy? Maybe it's not crazy. It's actually maybe not crazy. I don't have Queen A5. I don't have Knight D5. Go here, I can take and go like. Actually, I think I'm gonna just gambit a pawn with Knight D5. Or no, that's no good. Complicated position. I mean, he has to take B5. If he doesn't take B5, I don't know what he's doing. So I take. Go here. Go here at B4, Rook A4. Oh, he's got Bishop C5. I forgot about that move too. Very careless by me. Stops Bishop B5. Bishop B3, I can always sack my Rook if I want to. I can also just go back to A6 though. What he does. There, okay, I'll go here. I think I can go here in A5. Oh, I've also got Bishop B4 after Rook B3. Oh, he's got Bishop A7. I should have played A5 there. Not good. Thank you to Rush one for the 12th. Thank you to Dory move for the tier 1. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Before, I do have E5. Go E5. Hopefully, I'm not about to blunder the game. Is there some Rook B4 trick? Yeah, there is. Oh my god, I'm just getting checkmated here. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I just forgot there's checkmate. Oh my. Oh, I have Knight H7, maybe? Can't go F5. I've got to trade Rook somehow if I can, but I don't think I can, actually. Go here in King G6. I blunder Bishop D5 too. Yeah, very, very poor game by me this time. Oh, wait, my rook is just hanging. What am I doing? Whoa, what am I doing? He's got no time though. Go here. About to play G6 and lose the game. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Somehow I'm just forgetting where everything is. I don't even know why. It's like really disoriented or something. that okay go here and here okay this is just a draw though oh g5 was a bad move by me it should be a draw go here in rook a3 speaking of draw and end games oh i'm gonna flag him this is arena kings i want to flag him Win. Let's keep going. Next game. Shameless flag. Hey, he's twenty-seven fifty-five. I got. I got. It. I, I can't. I can't lose eight points for a draw. Not in a turn with money on the line. Has the factor fuming. He played a good game. I will say that he played a very good game. The, 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 he did play a very good game. You gotta give him credit. He played a good game. Final position's losing. Yeah, but I mean, okay, the final position's losing, but it doesn't matter. I mean, he, he had no time. I mean, that's the reason. Go here, maybe Bishop B5 next move. What is what is my score, actually? I'm on, what, 15 and a half? I drew Renato? I drew Renato, right? Next classical? I don't know. I don't know what my next classical tournament is, honestly. Um, maybe at 19. I don't know. Go here, Bishop B3, castle, maybe G4. Um... Still just one other title player. Yeah, Chess Lover is doing fine. I mean, the other guys must be climbing the ladder slowly, but surely. 
push his Castrol here. A G4, H4 is attack. Okay, let's go H. Actually, H4 is an awful move by me. I should have played G4 first. Wow, okay, let's go. A oh, he can take. I forgot he could take, but I still should be better. Obviously, take, I can go G4, Queen H3, let's take. I'm going to go here. It's a dangerous prey move, but I think it's safe. Hit the pawn at F7. You know, Peepers, I love CBRAH, Pepe Pride, whatever that is. Let's go here. I have Bishop B6 now as well. Should be pretty good. Am I contractually obligated to run ads? Yes, you guys. I am contractually obligated. That loses materials. Let's just go here and take the pawn. Keep it as simple as possible. It means I'm flirting with you. Oh, um, okay. Go here in AC4, maybe. Oh, what was? Oh, that was so stupid of me, actually. <sighs> Why did I do that? Ugh. Let's go here. Not smart at all. Not smart at all. What the heck am I doing? Let's go check and trade. I am very conveniently misplaying this end game. Um, G5 is also probably good. Let's just go back. Okay. Whoops. Do I trade or not? I mean, trade is a safe move. Queen D6 is not very safe here. I'm just gonna trade and take. I'm not actually better here. So here I'm a bishop d3, trade some pieces. So here, trade the bishops. I think d5 is a bad move. He doesn't really want to undouble the pawns, but he kind of has to. And okay, let's go here, attack. Oh, work up two is better first. Here. Actually, this also has d4. Very bad move. I should play d4 first, maybe. C4. He has no time, though, so time is going to play a role, as always. Go here. Yeah, now, now, he's, now he's just going to lose the game. He's got no time. I take... Seven. King B2, game over. Go here. Oh, he found knight 7 which is a nice trick. Okay, let's go here and maybe rook A6 and take. Got no time. Okay, goes E5. Let's go here and check, I guess. Hack the knight, rook A6. And game over. There we go. Another win. All right, we got a win. Let's keep going. We're up to 59. 46 minutes left. Rating is doing nicely. We're up like eight points, even you know we've won 16 out of 17 games. Um, okay, we're going to play Rusmov. Okay, let's keep going. So here, offer the trade. Castles. Okay, let's go. Knight c6. Develop the pieces here. So h5 h4 this is a classic cheese on the king side not very good by the way don't recommend playing it but um i can stop playing already i'm not sure about that actually i'm not sure about that isn't this a free pawn isn't this a wait he's he's getting all all angry now i'm gonna take it it's it's free oh he's really angry he plays knight f oh did i blunder something did he come up with some weird cheese i might have gotten cheese myself here by accident I feel like this guy might have just studied this line and found this and come up with this. This guy totally, totally did some weird preparation for this line. And I don't really know why he did. Go here. Yeah, this guy did some weird preparation. I walked into this nonsense. Yeah, he did some weird prep and I just fell right into it. Okay, that's that's really upsetting. Whatever, I've got E4 and takes maybe. No, but he's still got an IG5. What am I even Uh, he, 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 he did some weird prep of this line. I just fell right into it. 
go here and takes, I guess, and pray. Wait, if he goes knight g5, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Take? I have a chat. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He might have made a blunder himself, kind of. Whatever, I'm just going to get out of dodge and castle here. I just have to get out of dodge and play this position and pray. I'm gonna go bishop d4, obviously. Or h4, h3 is dangerous too. I should have maybe taken b2. I just have to find some way to survive. If I can survive long enough where he gets low on time, I have a chance. That's all I have to do is somehow survive. Let's go here. have to survive long enough to get to an end game. That's all I have to do. Yeah, but now I take. He's starting to misplay this a little bit. Like, this is already quite tricky. I'm gonna go here and C5. This is not so easy already for white. It's definitely not easy. Wait, okay, let's go here. Attack the rook. Can I just go here and like C5 or something? One. Um, let's go here maybe. Oh, I've got Knight F5 to trap trap his rook. He, he blundered this. His rook just got trapped. I just trapped his rook in the corner. And now he's going to lose the game. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy. He worked so hard. Um, he worked so hard to cheese me with this ridiculous prep and he's going to lose anyway. And now, now that I know that, I'm never going to do this against him again. Very unfortunate. No, he totally prepped the line. 100%. Not even a question. He definitely is like, he's playing the stupid line with Queen C8, Bishop H3. I got to go prep something with my computer and beat it. Um, 100%. 100%. Not even a question. Because I knew this guy's a very strong player. He's like 20, he's like 2650 in his prime. Very strong player. He 100% prepped this. Not That's not even a question. Uh, now I have to make sure I use the pawns. This isn't it actually trivial to win. But it should be winning. No, he, he did prep the line. I know he did. This is a, He's a very strong player. I've played him many times over the years. The a strong player. Uh, I think I'll go here. G5, Knight, F5, of course. If he takes, I don't care. I just go B4, A5. I mean, his pawns must be too fast, surely. He doesn't get two pawns, so I must be winning. Knight, G3, I'll trade and go C3, B4, A5. Roll the pawns. I mean, this must be winning. Got B4, A5. He doesn't really get too connected either. Uh, he's trying to get too connected, but can't possibly work. Because here I'm going to go A4, B3, of course. He's just too slow. He's just too slow. He's almost there, but it's not enough. Loses by one tempo. Go here. Make a queen. Actually, does have G7? Wait, this is weird. Wait, this is actually quite weird. My king's on C4. It's like on the only square. I blunder. Takes. I can make a queen. I think I should throw in a check. Oh, but now he allows the second queen with check. That was a big mistake. Oh, we're going to play Bordnik. Bordnik has 27 points. Bordnik wants to start really late in this. Okay, Bordnik started really late. I'm going to play Sicilian then. Um, let's just do this and this. Let's do this. Bordnik must have started super late in this event. It's the only thing I can think of. Knight a5, of course. Castle. You can play d5 and draw the game. But he's on 27 points, so he needs to win this game to qualify. There are only 40 minutes left. And I can play b6 here. I think I will. And just knight a5. Or just takes. I mean, everything here is drawish. I'm just going to go here. Warnick's on 27. He needs to win this game. A draw is not good enough for him. So, 
Okay, do I play knight d5 or not is the question. Rook d8 is also completely reasonable with knight a5. Or bishop d... Actually, bishop d5, create the wooden shield, of course. Great wooden shield. We all love us some wooden shield. He really... The thing is, he's got 27. He must not... What's he have? 27? Yeah, he's got 27. He's not even on a streak with 40 minutes. Very hard to see him qualifying. I'm just going to go here, maybe knight d5. I don't know if bishop b4 is a good move. It feels like it's not a good move. Yeah, knight d5, queen g3, and I feel a little bit stupid, kind of. Maybe I just go f5. Yeah, maybe I just go f5 and I'm fine. Take, I go f5 here, and I have f4 as well. Maybe. Not so clear. Let's see what he does. He's thinking for a long time here. He also has bishop c4 check as well. Bornig, yeah, Bornig is like, yeah, Bornig, I mean, Bornig is 2899, which is also just ridiculous. I, I don't know why Bornig's rating is so under, why he's so low. I mean, that's just absurd. Like, Bornig is not, I mean, not 2899, let's be serious. I mean, that's just so, so ridiculous. I'm going to go h6 and maybe g5 here. I think he has to play h4. Yeah, 2899. Yeah, he's not going to qualify. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I don't know why he's just so ridiculous. Okay, let's go here. I hit the pawn on b2. Born like a 2899. That's what I said. Somehow, somehow, my rating is thinking Boaz W for the nine months. Somehow. Thank you. Oh, is it is classic copy pasta? Dude, what's with the copy pasta? No need for that. Um, okay, I'm gonna go here in 95. It's oh yeah, I knew you from college, blah 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 blah. I'm in classic copy pasta. Copy pasta is strong. Okay, now I do have 95, I have a B5, I also have Rook D4 maybe. Question is how hard do I want to try to win this is the question. Because G5 is also maybe a move. I don't know how hard I'm supposed to try to win this. I'm gonna I'm gonna play a solid approach with Knight D5. Knight D5 and Rook D5. Just remove the knight. Go here, attack the knight. I can move the bishop. Knight D5. That's actually a good move. I didn't see that. It's a very good move. Problem is now it's going to be hard to win. Let's go here. Oh, I gave him rook g3. Jesus. Did I rook f6 maybe to cut the mate? That looks like a bad move somehow. I don't know why, but it looks wrong. It just looks wrong somehow. It just looks wrong. Why can't I spot the win? It just feels so wrong. I don't even know how to explain it, but it just... It just feels wrong, but I can't find the win. I'll go here. If he takes, I just take. Oh, but now he has rook g3 in this situation. Now I feel really stupid. I have this in f4, maybe. Still very tricky. New to Jonat for the eight months. Now, F4 looks reasonable. And Rook F5 looks reasonable, too. Attack this. Knight E5, I have Rook D5, I believe. Take, I have Rook H5. Oh, wait. Rook H5, Rook H3, Queen G5 or something? Running mate in one. Check, and now he gets made a check, and it's mate or mate. Okay, let's go again. Thank you to Handelia for the tier one. Thank you so much to Handelia. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Handelia. Okay. 67 points. Uh, we're doing pretty well so far. 67. Okay, let's go E4 here. Let's keep going. Having a very good score, yeah. Having a very good score. 
Did I see Ollie Rose win? Yeah, yeah, I did. It was a very, very good game by him, although he was a little bit lucky at the end because it should have been a draw. Uh, I, I'm kind of curious whenever Nair obviously isn't going to do an interview right now, but I'm kind of curious afterwards what Nair will say after the tournament, like why, what, what happened or what his miscalculation was. I'm kind of, I'm actually quite curious. Go here. I, I am curious what Nair, Nair will say, like what, what exactly he missed, because it's kind of strange. Let's go here. I'm going to go like Knight of four, Knight three. Obviously, I'm going to have to take the Knight at some point. Let's just trade. Whoa, they just say it fast for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much to say it fast. Thank you. It's E Warface for the Prime. Thank you so much to say it fast for the 10 subs. Appreciate it, man. That's the best. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for the 10 gifted. So if C4, I'm going to go King A1, King H1, take 6, but should be 2, Rook B1, why it's better, obviously. If it goes E5, I go H3, I'm not sure what's going on, but D4, E5, I'm not really clear, but he has 10. Everything is unclear. Okay. Uh, Bishop B2, Rook B1, takes 6, takes 8, so it's good. If E5, Knight H5, attack Bishop, Bishop H6, Queen E1, it's all, all looking really, really good. Knight H5, Queen E1, Queen G3. Uh, he gives the Bishop very bad, bad move. Now I get taken dark squares. Everything is looking really, really good. Queen E5, Bishop H6, everything's good. Okay. Let's go Queen G3, H4, H5, maybe Bishop G5. Go here, H5, attack King. D2, Bishop C3, Bishop F4, Bishop B5, Knight E5, that thing's looking really, really good. Bishop C2, Bishop C3 ideas, H5 ideas, H5 ideas, D4 maybe, D3, maybe Rook E1, maybe Knight E4, everything's looking really, really good. Okay, it goes to E5 here. Um, uh, E5 is probably actually a very good move. Uh, I missed, for some reason I missed this. I thought there was some trick with Knight E5, but it appears not to exist. Let's just go D4, E4, Knight E5, play for the dark squares here. Now, now watch the VOD at two times speed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> watch it at two x speed. Yeah, we're gonna get a win here. By the way, so we're gonna be on seventy one points. I mean, looking really, really good. The only question is, are these guys like Minlay gonna qualify or not? Because is having a bad tournament. Um, I mean, some of these guys are really not doing very well right now. So there's a chance that I mean, a few of these guys like Renato might not qualify. Okay, he goes there. I don't know what that does exactly. I just take. Okay, he goes C five logically. Wants D four. But now I go here in Bishop F6, and I cut him off the pass. And I cut the coordination of the Rooks once I get this in as well, because then the Rooks are split. They're not they're not connected. Go check. Wow, King H7. Okay, but I mean, this must be losing somehow. Um, What is the right... I'm just going to play B3. I don't even know if it's necessary, but it seems like a reasonable, pragmatic move just to offer a trade. And at some point, I'm going to go Knight D2. It's just a question of when. Oh, knight g5 and rook f5, queen f5 is also just winning, I think. Oh, well. Okay, I think I'm going to play this rook e1. Why not? No need to get creative here. I'm obviously much better. Rook g8. Um, go here. I, I want to go knight g5. Oh, I also maybe have e6 somewhere. Good check. Uh, let's go g4. I don't know if this is right either. Takes. Take, he takes. It's actually a little bit scary. Okay, let's go e6. I want to go e7 and e8, maybe. Go here. And g1. Be very careful here. I might have just blundered this game away, amazingly. Actually, wait, my bishop is hanging. Wait, my bishop is just hanging. Oh, I just blundered this game away. What the heck? What did I... What did I just do to this game? I just lost my mind for one second. Let's go here. Yeah, I just I lost my mind for one second. Check. Yeah, I just lost my mind and I just completely like fast. Oh well. Well this is very unfortunate. This is a 24. I mean this is ridiculous. I lose 16 points for this. I just spazzed for one move, and I, it's just, like, insane. I don't know what that... Oh, uh, yeah. Just spazzed for one move, and... Jeez. Oh, if less time, maybe I could do something, but I can't. Yeah. Ah, oh, jeez. 
Yeah, I just I spazzed for one move. I just I spazzed. I just missed. Yeah, I just spazzed. Very careless. That's unfortunate. I just spazzed for one move. I just spazzed for one move and I didn't see Queen D3 Knight H3. Very poor. Yeah, I know it happens. Uh, very, very poor. He also only has four points, but yeah, I, I don't think he was doing anything. I just played bad. I think touch TV. I was completely winning and then I just flubbed it. Uh, let's reset. Try to win some points. Yeah, just like that, I ruined the whole thing. For some reason, I thought when I went E6 also, I didn't realize the bishop was protected on F6. Okay, let's go B5. It should be 7, Knight, D7. Not a big deal, obviously. Happens. But I will remember that username. If I ever play him again in Arena Kings, I'm going to be very serious, and I am going to spank him. So uh, I will not forget that username. Go Bishop G7. I, I, I will not forget that username. I'll, I'll, if I ever, I probably won't play him again, undoubtedly, but it's a cute puppy, right? A cute puppy. Yeah, I will not forget. That's one thing uh, that, that the strong players, they never forget. Like, if they lose these games... They never forget those games, and they come back stronger because of it. So, yeah. Uh, but, I, I mean, unless I run into him in Arena Kings, I mean, I, I won't play him. But, yeah. A cute puppy, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I mean, I'll go here in 85 and take. But, yeah, I won't forget that, obviously. Because that just really ruined... Well, I mean, I can still win the event, so I shouldn't be too unhappy. But I, I won't forget that. Um... You get a Quitty Princess for the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. But yeah, I, I will not forget that username. And it was Portugal was the flag. So just got to remember that. There's F4. Actually, why am I doing... Actually, I'm playing I'm playing against this guy like he's 2400 when he's 2700. I don't know why I'm doing this. <sighs> Go here, try to attack maybe. Suddenly, like this game is take. Jeez, this game I'm also. What am I doing? Hmm. I might actually lose this game too. I'm getting very careless suddenly. I'm getting really, really careless. It's thing for a long time. It goes bishop c1. I can obviously just take, I guess, and go knight a4. Go here. So I can take a1, maybe. Okay, let's take. Of course, I'm losing here naturally. Go go here in castles. Queen a5, maybe. Jeez. Okay, bishop h3 is not the best move actually here. So maybe I have a chance. Let's go queen a5 and take. Bishop d2. Yeah, I don't want to count. Again, why did I do this though? Because now my, my king is. Go here. That's the castle, of course. Take with a king. If I can open up the diagonal, I have a chance. If I can open up this diagonal, I think I'll be able to win the game. If I don't lose the next 20 seconds, I should win. Glad y'all are waiting for me to talk. I didn't know I'm so special. Oh, no worries. No worries, man. Yeah, he sees too slow. He, he, he sees just way too slow. Yeah, now that I open the diagonal, I think I'm... Now that the diagonal got open, I think, I think I'm going to win the game. I still have to be very careful how I do this, though. It's still not trivial. Maybe queen c4? Let's go here so I have check. Gotta cut off this rook c2 nonsense. Oh, jeez. I blunder bishop a5 there. Oh, my God. What is wrong with me today? Here. Go here and check, I guess. Check and check. Take. Okay, I'm gonna win. Here. 
And now I win the game. Terrible, terrible. We got the win. That makes up for the previous one. Cause that can, thank you, Aunt Julie, for the turn of this. Cause I should have lost that one for sure. More, much more so than the previous one. Isn't this just the guy that I just played or not? Maybe not. I guess D5, I guess I'll go here and C5 maybe. Maybe A6. Um, let's go A6, C5, I guess. Uh, let's go here. Just Bishop H3 next move, I guess. So let's go here. Force the bishops off. Castle. I'm going to go E6. Actually, let's go here. Because now I have Knight F3. I have Knight B3 to hit the, hit the piece. Or Knight B6 back. Okay, let's go E6. Chop the structure here. He does. Even the tank goes F5. Okay, clear. I mean, rookie eight's probably wrong. I just gave him 94. <sighs> I'm getting so careless suddenly. What am I even doing? I'm suddenly getting super careless. <sighs> Go here. Pray that I don't get checkmated somehow. Relax? No, I, I'm just... I, tilted is the wrong word, but I just... I, I think it's because I, I know I'm qualified. I'm just losing, like, that... That motivation, that extra energy, that boost, I'm just running... I'm running out of it. Because, like, I, now I'm not, I'm already, like... After losing the game, obviously rating, I can't gain rating points anymore. Um, and I'm just kind of, like, I'm just zoning it a little bit. Yeah, I don't... B3 is good for him, but I don't know if I like it so much. So I'm going to get to 95, maybe. I've got to do something here uh, in the center of the board. My pieces are actually not that bad, I guess you could say. They're not great. Okay, I'm going to go here. Can I go queen f5? No, then he has bishop h6, queen h5. He's trying to get bishop h6, which makes a ton of sense. Maybe play d5 and... Uh, I got to do something, though. Nice. So let's just go for it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sack here. I'm totally sacking. I'm hoping I'm not getting lollied on it on G7 here. That's basically my prayer. Take five minutes break out of this game. I'm probably gonna stop after this game because I just I feel like I'm just starting to miss everything. I mean he's gonna take and I'm like okay, it goes there, so of course I take. Go here, force a trade. I mean, I have rookie two or 93, 95 or something. Let's go check. Now, of course, I should have taken with the uh, <laughs> taken with the rook, not the, not like this, but whatever. Let's go here. Knight of six or something. Six, maybe okay. Hanging by a thread. Hanging, hanging being the key word. I think I'll be able to draw this game probably. I don't think I'm going to win the game, but I think I can draw now. If I get F6, I definitely can draw. He goes, actually, Knight F7 and Knight G5 was just winning. He missed that. That was just GG's almost. Um, now, I don't want to go H5. I do have Rook A4 maybe. Rook A4. Rook A4, Knight C5 takes. Knight F7, Rook E4. This loses, this loses, but I'm going to play it anyway. Yeah, Rook B1. We'll go. Oh, man. Why did I do? Okay. No, now he's knight f7 again. I feel like an idiot. Of course, he spots it this time around. What am I doing even? Hanging the house here. <sighs> Maybe I can still flag him though. He's very low on time. The block, I get this in.
Okay, he missed a he missed a win there over here. Can I somehow win this is the question. Over here. I'm trying to win this game against some better judgment. Wait, okay, I just go here? Han is very fast. I'm gonna make him repeat. Can I go here? He has no time. I'm gonna win this game. Amazing. Amazing. I'm gonna win the game. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Did someone order a flag? Yes, I did. Now we're playing Chess Lover, who's probably the next closest player. If I win this game, I think I'll probably stop for the last 20 minutes. So I think if I win this game, I'll have a 12 point lead with. 19 minutes. I mean, maybe the guy behind me can catch me, the 1349, but so be it. If he can catch me, he catches me. I don't particularly care. I have the two two bishops, by the way. Great start. Let's castle. Play rookie eight. Much better than the last game. E4. Let's go here. Knight f4, of course. It's going to go rookie one. I don't really like knight f4, but maybe it's a move. Let's just go. Uh, let's go here. Hmm, D4, interesting choice. We're just gonna trade. Right, he is very, very slow and flat. Goes A5. I don't know if A5 really concerns me. I'll just go Queen E7 back. He always has A6, but I assume I have B6 or something. We have a gamble on the line. What is the gamble? Oh, what is the bet? 80 points. Oh, there's a gamble for 80 points. Okay, then I'll try to win two games. Then I'll then I'll stop. Yeah, two games. Okay. Good to know. Okay. I'm gonna go H5 at some point. I'm gonna go here and maybe C6. B5 or C8. If Bishop C4, I think I'll just move the Bishop back. Let's go H5. I want to go Bishop H6 at some point. He does play B5, so I'm gonna go here and take. I don't like B5, by the way. I think it's a bad move. He gets a square, but I'm able to play around the square here. Eight points in 80 minutes, or in eight minutes, okay. Yeah, okay, so two games. Mm, go here, C4, Rook C8, I guess. A4. I'm gonna go here anyway. Knight D5, I'll just eh, take, maybe. Uh, I, guy said it's eight points in uh, I don't know if I risky. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Bishop d7. I'll just take. Oh, did I blunder? No, I take and go rook d8. I'm still fine. I really wish my bishop was on c5 right now, not h6. 93. I guess his idea is bishop d7. Go here to attack the pawn. I can always take and take. It goes back to d5. Very human. Um, so hard to play this. Oh, wait. I can actually take and go rook c2, maybe? Actually, wait. Let's take. Maybe there's tricks here. Wait. Maybe there are some tricks. He takes with the e pawn, which I also, for some reason, forgot was a move. Uh, why did I do this? I go here and rook the eight. Although I think I just blundered. Maybe blundered is too strong of a word, but I definitely made a mistake. Now I go here. Rook here and f5 and what? Oh come on! What the heck? What the heck? Seriously? Jesus. Go here. You know, Crispy for the gifted something. Greg S. Rosen for seven. Thank you so much. It seems to be happening all the time with chess.com. I mean, how many times does this happen now? It's insane. Let's go here. Maybe H4. Let's go. I guess I'll go here. Oops, that's a blunder. I wish H6. 
nice little blunder by my opponent although it's still very tricky very hard to win this game but no, he's got a four but i can play m peasant and take and check in bishop c5 of course take and take still tricky um fortunately found the best move good check maybe f2 f2 and bishop c5 maybe I obviously trade i don't want to trade so i'm gonna go here and bishop c5 and try to play this tough position very very tough Takes Nork D1. Okay, now I should be better. Let's move the king. Okay, that's a blunt. Oh, that's not a blunt. Oh, that's. Uh, it's gonna be hard to win this too. Take and take. Go here. Go check. That's a blunt I take. Go check and take. Okay, now I'm gonna win the game. Or am I? Wait, this is still tricky. Wait. I had this position against Mag. Uh, wait, no, I go here. I had something very similar to this against Magnus. Yeah, now I win the game. We get an or attack for the 14. We got to get one more in, right? One more win. One more win. Go one more win, and then we're done. Four minutes. Oh, am I not? Where's the game? Oh, come on. Oh, and I get a bad pairing. I don't get an easy pairing. You guys need an easy pairing to get to 80. I'm going to move faster. I did nothing. That was a stupid move by me. Go B5 and C5, maybe. I don't know why I'm moving so fast, because like it doesn't change the outcome. I'm gonna go here and take maybe. I don't actually. I really don't know why I'm playing like this. This is insane. Me too. Okay, I'll go c4. Knight b6 maybe. His knight action on a5 is very out of play here. Yeah, I'm trying to win this game quickly. Go here and take. Take. So um, let's just develop. His knight is dead, by the way. He's playing with a dead knight here. He's playing with a knight on on um, on a5, which is completely out of the game. Okay, let's just... And now I just have to figure this out. Okay, I'm going to play h5. Terrible move by me, by the way, but whatever. Let's go bishop h6 here. Oh, he's got knight b1. Oh, shoot. I missed this. Go here, knight c8. Yeah, he's got this knight a3 nonsense, which is kind of a big problem. I'm trying to win this game fast for you guys. Well, I don't think it's going to be happening. He's also not speeding up. Let's go here. Go here. Maybe knight a4 is my idea. I think I'm just going to trade the knights. This knight is kind of annoying. Now, let's just trade the knights and win on the a file. Use this a file to my advantage here. Don't think h3 is a good move, but I guess I'll just go here and rook a8. Go here, target the queen, target the knight. Okay, his knight is dead, so now let's bring this other knight to a4 to win. 130 left, okay. I'm trying, you guys, I'm trying. He's defending very well, though. Go here in rook d3. I'm still trying. Go here. Bishop f6, bishop g7. Okay, I can just take. No f3, I have bishop g7 also. Take. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. This is definitely winning. I just have to think. Take. Oh, Bishop D6 was just winning, and now... Wait, but now I have F6 and call the ambulance? But not for me. I didn't see Rook H2 at all. Hopefully, he'll resign here. He's got Queen D4, though.
Come on, please resign. Please resign. Please resign. Please resign. Please resign. No, he's not gonna resign. Okay, just take. Come back. Yeah, he's not gonna resign. Sorry, you guys. Couldn't do it. Let's just go check and trade. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's good. 80. It was like 10 seconds too slow. Sorry, it was like 10 seconds too slow. 10 seconds too slow. We get the dub. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop for now, you guys. So I'm gonna take a short break, go use the restroom. We're gonna come back and then um and then we'll play the knockout. So we'll be right back in a second. All right, you guys, we're back. We are back, back, back. Thank you to a cuddly puppy for the tier one. <laughs> lol, Omega Lol. Okay. Um Where is Minlay? Minlay is on yeah, see, this is also why I didn't want to play, because Minlay is kind of close, too. Uh, so it's like, I didn't want to play and ruin his chances. But I have the RGB headphones. Yeah, good one. Number two guy got to 80, I don't care. I literally don't care. Uh, you know what, I do care. Let's play. Let's play another game. I uh, know there's 440. I'm not getting a game, whatever. I'll just wait. I'll wait it out. Because there's going to be a situation where someone can stall it out. So I'm just going to chill. Yeah, I'm just going to chill here and we keep, keep, keep rolling right along. All right. So what's going on? So Minlay is in 16. So he's the only guy who I think is in some danger of, uh, of not qualifying. So see what happens. Am I missing a joke? Yes, you are missing a joke. All right. He should be fine since it's not all top 16 streamers. Yeah, maybe. I mean, who knows? Looks like everyone's found a way to make it in, except for um, Bortnik. Arsenio is not going to make it in, probably, and neither is Bortnik. These are the two guys who are actually very strong, who are probably going to miss. These are the two guys who won't make it in. Bortnik and Arsenio, Ar Ar Arsenia Nesterov. These two guys are both 29, and they won't make it. So it looks like it's going to be the standard. I'll be in. Minlay will be in. Joe Bava will be in. Um, Joss will be in. So yeah, everyone's in here. Everyone looks like they're going to be in except for uh, Bortnik. Bortnik's on, Bortnik got to 28, so maybe he has a chance, but I doubt it. Let's see if Bortnik has a chance. I mean, Bortnik has to win this game really fast and then hope for something. I mean, if he wins this game, there is a chance, I guess. It's top 16 that qualifies. So Bornik is, is outside and Arsenio Nesterov has maybe a chance too. Although he's not on a streak, so he's only going to get two. So Nesterov's definitely out. Like Queen B6. Takes. There's a nine se second differential, by the way. Four, three, two... One. There, yeah, Bornick's Bornick doesn't um Bornick's like, opponent can run out the clock here. Like Queen B6 and A5. So Bornick should not be able to get in. Yeah, Bornick's opponent has more time than's remaining. But I think Bornick's opponent's just gonna stall out here, most likely. That would be my guess. So there shouldn't be there should the, yeah Bornick's opponent's just gonna sit out I'm pretty confident on that yeah just gonna stall it out and Bornick's gonna miss I think because of it I mean Bornick's at 31 he needs 15 people ahead of him yeah I mean Bornick's opponent can just stall but even with a Bornick win he'd only have 54 yeah but 54 is 25 there's a chance there is a chance Queen A2, I guess. What was C5? Very weird move. Never heard of who? Bortnik or who? Okay. 
I mean, Bordick's opponent surely is going to stall, right? You do M M me seal for the prime. Yeah, I mean, I think Bornick misses. I think well, Minley ob well, Minley Minley is in tricky spot here too. Oh, Minley's opponent can stall out as well. <gasps> Minley's opponent resigns. Minley's opponent had more time than was remaining, so Minley's gonna get in by a miracle. Minley gets in by a miracle. If his opponent stalls out, Minley probably doesn't make it either. Wow, so lucky. Bornick's opponent, however, knows what's going on. Bornick's opponent knows what's going on. Wow, Minley misses. Minley would miss. Minley would not have made it in if not for the, his opponent resigning. His opponent doesn't resign there. Minley doesn't make it in the top 16. He probably misses because he would have been like 22 or something. Um, instead, he's going to make it in. Barely. Very lucky.